Good afternoon, everyone. You guys look amazing. Let me take you to a worldwide tour of the last 20 years of tech, how technology has changed rapidly. We all remember the dawn of social networking. Who would have imagined in a Harvard College dorm, which actually started with rating the attractiveness of fellow mates, that could turn into a billion dollar company, which actually connects us to people we don't even remember going to school with. Here, friend requests outnumber the number of real friends we have. Then came the smartphone and the tablet revolution, which brought our world to our fingertips with endless scrolling. A tale of two Steves and a garage, still inspirational to many of us. We realized reality was getting a little boring. With wearables and VR, we hit the pandemic. And then, getting into video conferences, meetings, and maybe attending Zumba classes online from the comfort of our homes, that became the trend. Here we are, what we call is the AI boom. We love chatting with bots, maybe more than chatting with our fellow human beings. Technology advancements and innovation, they are like peanut butter and jelly. They belong together. You throw in a dash of entrepreneurship and you have got yourself a sandwich which is changing the world one bite at a time. Don't you agree? And that's the technology vision at AT&T. As Andy mentioned, we are not just a telecom service provider. We are a technology company. We have adopted cloud technologies, Gen AI, automation to streamline our day-to-day -day operations across businesses. This has resulted in reduced costs. Businesses are scaled more efficiently and they are much more agile. With BI tools and analytics, we have this vast information of data which we are trying to transform into actionable insights. This empowers us with strategic decisions and informed marketing. Couple of business scenarios, functions, where we see we are leveraging the technologies like Gen AI and automation. Gen AI is revolutionizing the way we manage and optimize our networks by identifying the traffic we actually are able to optimize the solution. Customer service transformation, chatbots, virtual assistants, they are taking the customer experience to a new height. It's not just enhancing the customer experience with vast agents which are deployed, which are actually helping processing the queries of customers simultaneously with personalized quick responses. It's also allowing the CSRs focus on more nuanced and complex issues. Security, our industry is a prime threat, prime target to cyber threats because of the vast data we handle. With Gen AI at its forefront, we are combating security. We have AI solutions built in and deployed, which actually identify and respond to unusual behaviors, which may lead to security breaches. So hence, yes, Gen AI is actually helping us be ahead of the fraudsters, ensuring a secure network and data. Automation of routine tasks. We are using Gen AI and automation in most of the businesses where traditionally we were actually manually looking at this data and maybe working on compilation of billing packages or network monitoring and other billing processes. We are helping these business functions to grow rapidly. It not only reduces the time, it saves time, it expedites the cash back into the organization, but also frees up human employees to focus on other creative and strategic activities. These technologies have optimized our supply chains. Our, the way our tax users or the auditors would actually look at some taxation summaries and henceforth. Technology in itself is not everything. The culture to change, and we embrace that at at and that's critical. Leaders with an entrepreneur mindset, not only they generate transformative ideas, but also drive enterprise-wide changes, reshaping the businesses. Let me take a pause here and 
talk about how I fit into this game-changing organization. I do have, I love getting into new technologies. I would, you know, my passion is basically learning, learning something new, experimenting with different technologies or gadgets, and definitely applying to the problems around me. If I'm able to actually solve a problem which is a pain point for me, it really gives me a sense of fulfillment and it makes me happy. Here at at and I handle, I, with my team of data engineers and data scientists, we feel happy that we are able to use data and AI to transform the businesses. We are happy to collaborate and ensure our businesses are scaling up better. Couple of examples here. We work in the field care. With data science model, what we have deployed, we ensure that the technicians have an understanding of the work they would be part of. Depending on the skill sets of the technicians in relation to the jobs, the models actually predict, looking at the historical data, it helps in predicting which technicians are best for what types of jobs, maintenance, install, repair, and all the nitty gritties. We also have data science models which are predicting accidents, preventing them from actually getting into accidents by looking at hundreds of parameters like the geographic location or the weather or the road condition and so on and so forth. This is all data science. This is what we do day in and out. We are optimizing using Gen AI the spend of the suppliers. Optimizing looking at the spend of the corporate and basically driving into insights which helps the management understand it better. Tax, billing, finance, a couple of business functions where me and my team, we try to add value. As part of billing operations, we using Gen AI and data to automate the manual, repetitive, mundane processes. The time the team used to take to actually compile and create billing packages with hundreds of approval across different business functions is now done in seconds. And it just not reduces the error, it actually frees up him, human employees to focus on more strategic and creative activities. When I was sitting here, I actually saw a couple of you and I could figure out I see a few familiar faces. And I remember, back in December, I met a few of you. That was the time when we were actually driving the internship program at at and so I had the pleasure of visiting a few campuses and universities, and yes, I remember you. And we spoke a lot about all this. So it's great to have you back here, guys. As part of this whole exercise of internship, we have a few interns who are working with us. And I am proud to say I have a few interns who are sitting here who are actually involved in these new technologies like fine-tuning of LLMs, RAG, prompt engineering. What else do we want? Isn't this disruptive? I leave you with this thought. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to dream, to innovate, to revolutionize. The future is ours to create. Thank you.